what is my axis score or how do I score my axis? Those are questions I get asked pretty often so I thought I'd just make a quick video showing you how to score an axis using the SCI 21T method. Uh, there's a 21NT for non-typical deer. This one as you can see is typical so it's 21T. Uh, there's multiple ways to score axis but my brain thinks in inches and that's just the easiest for me to work with so that's what I'm going to show you. That's also how I field judge deer. I talk about axis deer like I do whitetail in overall score. So when you're scoring axis, you're going to get a main beam measurement. You're going to get a measurement of the eye guard or the brow tine. You're going to get a measurement on the caudal tine. You get mass at the burr. You get mass on the main beam. This is on both sides. And then you also get a widest spread measurement. This one happens to be tip to tip but it's not always the case it's the widest spread so even if it's not tip to tip it's the widest spread i've already done all these measurements it'll kind of help speed up the process i know this beam is 33 inches um, i'm going to show you how to how i measure tines and this is all tines i take my tape i lay it across the main beam where the main beam intersects the tine, I make a mark at the top of my tape. Right here, you may not be able to see it, but if you don't have painter's tape or frog tape, you can use a pencil and that works well too. Once I get that measurement, I put my tape on that mark and then I measure. He's right at 12 inches. That's a phenomenal caudal tine. Same deal on the eye guard or the brow tine. You lay your tape main beam to main beam and where the brow tine or eye guard intersects it you make a mark it'd be nice to have an extra set of hands when you're doing this it gets a little a little cumbersome just bear with me put your tape on that mark and then just walk this up since it's just me and he's 14 and a quarter Phenomenal eye guard. Um, next, you're going to take a measurement of the mass at the burr. Same deal. Run your tape all the way around. It's easier once the deer has been caped to do this. But you just follow the burr all the way around. And he's 7 and 7 eighths on this side. 8 and 1 eighth on that side. So, once again, I've already done these measurements just to speed up the process. And then you have a mass measurement on the main beam. And he's right at four inches. So he holds his mass real well. Uh, you take that for both sides. This one has a little extra point. So same deal where this time intersects the main beam. You measure that. It's three inches. You take all those. You add them up. And then we're going to do the widest spread measurement like i said it's not always tip to tip but this one it happens to be tip to tip and he's 28 and an eighth so he's got some pretty good width too this deer pretty well has it all um total score on this deer is 172 and 18 that puts him in about 14th or 15th uh, in the world so he's a he's a phenomenal deer um i hear a lot of people talking about axis deer with just one measurement and they're talking about the main beam length if i told you i shot a 33 inch axis probably wouldn't be that impressed with it but if i told you i shot an axis that's 172 inches you'd probably be a little more impressed so if you're wanting to kill bag axis deer learn how to field judge them learn how to score them and give an overall score one measurement tells you nothing on a white tail so one measurement isn't going to tell you anything on an axis deer so learn how to score them talk about them in overall score it's much more representative of the animal it gives him the credit that he's earned and and that god gave him and so i hope that helps if you have any questions let me know leave a comment i'll be happy to help you any way i can that's your tip of the day good luck hunting take care